Hello everyone, this is uh, how to make a macro version 2. Um, today I'll be showing you lots more different ways and how to make a macro again. And lots of different other stuff. So, um, I have a new keyboard since the last video of Razor Black Widow. But I won't be showing you anything on that. It's pretty much exactly the same as the mouse. And you've got these macro keys here. Okay. <coughs> This is my mouse, this is my setup, I have everything on these buttons normal, but on here I have 10, button 10 to spam the right mouse button, button 11 to spam the le left mouse button, and then 12 is for bunny hopping, but yeah, that's for counter strike, but yeah. Okay, so um, I'll show you how to make those and a few other ones so let's go to macro spam left mouse button you can make this as fast as you want i just have mine set to 50 second delay because uh 0 0.50 second delay because that's that's just how i like it <coughs> so you want to go press plus rename it to whatever you want spam left mouse button i'm just going to call it spam left mouse button 2 so it isn't the same as that one, so not to delete. <coughs> so you can either press record, and then you can just click a whole bunch of times. Let's move the window there. And it just records all your clicks. So now we stop. So now, uh, I don't know what I could click on to show you, but yeah, basically you get the idea. It's going to left, left mouse button down, so that's when you hold it down. And then up is that when you let go of the mouse, and it has a it records all your delays. They're all different there. If you want it to be irregular, presses but still fast, and just press it fast. Uh, let's delete all these. You can set it to default delay, and you can change this to whatever you want. You can make it like 0 0.9 seconds. And that'll be like super fast, so you can set it like lower than that. See, even if I click like, like, not in in time, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Um, if I click in, even in like irregular clicks, um, it's gonna record it as a zero point eight second delay. <coughs> And then no delay is obviously what it sounds like. It's just no delay. Oh my god, how many of these are there? Okay, so no delay is just that. Okay, so that's the basic macros there. Um, <coughs> you can set it to, to do a whole bunch of key presses. So you can go record, uh, default delay will do 0 0.9 seconds. If you want it to say a whole message, so you, you would do this. You'd just press record, say, hello, my name is Josh. So yeah, I stuffed up there and, and I had to do a backspace, but yeah. So let's test that out here. Oh, wait, I need to set it. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, go back to mouse, and then set it to whatever one you want. I'm going to set it to 1. <coughs> go to 1. Under here, under button assignment, you go down to macro. <coughs> Assign. Change the macro to what you want. I chose test, sorry. <coughs> you can change the playback option to... Uh, <coughs> you can change it to play once, which will just play it once, as I'll show you here. So if I press 1, there we go, it types it so fast. All I'm doing is just pressing 1 once. Um, and we can change this to play multiple times. And you can change the number of times here. So if you want it to play 2 times, that was already there. But yeah, If you want it to play 2 times, all I'm doing is pressing 1 here. There you go. So it just it does it two times. Now, 
toggle continuous playback on off using assign key. This will play it when I press it. It's just going to keep going and going and going until I press it again. And then it'll stop. There you go. Lost the bloody notepad window. There we go. Okay. Um, now for play while sign key is pressed. So this will just if when you hold down the button, it'll press it. I mean, it'll type it or whatever your macro was. So here I'll hold it down. Let go, hold down, let go. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, so the next thing is uh, opening opening um, programs with the button. Okay, so this part was suggested by Doug S on YouTube here. How do I create a macro to open me media player and start playing a song? So what you do is you get your razor synapse here you go to the button you want to press to do that and you click here you see we have a whole load of functions uh, most of them I have no idea what, I, what they mean but the one you need is launch program <coughs> you click here and you'd find where media player is I don't know where to find it because I'm a freaking idiot so I'm just gonna do this random thing that I made, where is it, God, there it is, I'm going to make it launch a.bat, save, so when I press 1, there we go, you can see it launches in the corner, it's not an actual thing, it's just a thing, so yeah, there you go, so you know it works. You can change this to launch a website, so we can make it launch um, youtube.com Save. Press 1. There you go. Starting up YouTube. There it is. Yeah. So there you go, there's the launch program thing. Oh my god, where's the bloody... Okay, so, so back to macros, um, you can make all kinds of macros that can like, um, change your games and everything, so, so here I can make a macro for anything, you can make a macro, uh, on Killing Floor, as I mentioned in my previous video, on Killing Floor, to heal your person, you would press, you would press like a number, I think it's three, so I have default delay on here, so let's do this, so press three, there you go, and then I think it's left click to heal, and then Q to switch back to your previous weapon, I'm pretty sure, but yeah. So this will press 3, left mouse button down, and then press Q, but this is going to do it very quickly, so we want to change the delay of this one, this one, yes, this one I'm pretty sure, so we double click, no, click that, click the little pencil, and you can change the delays of everything here, so we can change this to... Zero, uh, actually no, we want to make it like maybe 1.0 seconds. So there you go, that'll press 3. And then sim pretty much instantly press left mouse button down to select it. I mean to, um, to heal your guy. And then it'll wait 1 second and then it'll press Q and switch to your main weapon. So there you go, that's, that's a simple macro for any, for, for killing floor. <coughs> you can do this for anything, anything you can think of. Um, yeah, you can make it shoot, shoot like three round bursts, let's do that. 
So for three round bursts in like shooter games, press record. One, two, three, stop. And there you go, that's pretty much it. Well, that's for a simple one. If you just want to press like one, for example, it's going to click three times. You can change the delay, make it faster or slower to however you want. Uh, you can change it up, you can make it so it does three, three, three round bursts. So you do three of these, but um, you would you can press you can press insert here and insert a delay delay after. So you want to delay after this. Set the duration to maybe 0 0.5 seconds. So there you go. You just got a delay there and then record. Actually, one, two, three. Ah, oh, that's gonna that's gonna completely. Oh, that's a bit stupid. Okay, let's insert that, and then you'll probably want to copy, oh, that's weird, why does it delete it when I record again, that's annoying, okay, just do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and there you go, there's your three clicks, so you've got one, two, three, click on left mouse button up, insert, duration, 0 0.5 seconds, delay, after, insert, there you go, and then just delete that there, and then do the same for each of those, and it'll do a three round burst kind of thing. That probably won't be good, so don't use that exact one with all the same delays, but yeah. Um, yeah that's, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have anything else that you want to know, then just ask me in the comments of this video. So yeah, have a good day, and hopefully this helped some of helped with some of your problems. Bye.